Avangard as the uh, Northern Blue team and uh, their opponents, uh, the Inspired Aggregated Force, starting down south, color coded yellow. Both teams going with dual aiming 50s here, both sides as well. Um, actually, not going with any other similar things, but yeah, Avangard going with the T13 Hershey and the AM13, whereas their opponents, IF, the Borsig, yeah, KB5 and 1. Well, you know, uh, just uh, on the observer, I can tell you that uh, without any surprise whatsoever, uh, Avantgarde has committed to the field, and if you ask me, it really does look like I have going for the flash rolls thinking. Maybe, yeah, they are pressing up here. I mean, they could be just, you know, setting up their defense in the river. It's possible, yeah. Just very defensive towards itself, but... Actually, they are, yeah, continuing to press up here. They I mean, are the heavy tanks are crossing, almost yeah, crossing, yeah, so... Yeah. We're just gonna stop and see if any of the Avangard tanks are like guarding that middle road, but the thing is Avangard have one of their T1s on, yeah. like kind of way to the north, like right next to their base, but none actually in the city. So uh, you know this this road and this alley will be open and available to the IF side, however it's it's still a little bit risky. Very risky actually. Yeah, you know, IF is not daring to cross. Uh, well, you know, considering their setup, they might as well just like they, they totally have the option of just waiting. Much, right? And I in any city engagement, Avantgarde would not have the advantage. Oh yeah, most definitely. So I mean, the thing is, yeah, they have an AP13 and a Pershing. So honestly, Avantgarde don't have really that much firepower, at least compared to their their opponents here. Uh, and that could prove to be very detrimental because, especially with that KB5. Although the KB-5 doesn't have like the most firepower, you know, and it's not like the, that's the biggest 18, of threat. Yeah, but that's 1,800 hit yeah, points yeah, like yeah, exactly. uh, that you have to take care of. Um, exactly. And so. mind you, they still have that force too. That's just, uh, really it's just uh, and and like yeah, if it comes to a city engagement, okay, they they have crossed now, and they have it spotted. Yeah, yeah, they have crossed. So yeah, they are gonna go for this, and Avangard should have all the time in the world to come back and defend this. There should be no problem already. Yeah, we are seeing almost all of their tanks now moving back. Actually, we do see the two tanks towards the middle now kind of cutting through the city. They should be very careful though, because if they even try to engage those tanks, they're gonna get they're gonna lose. Uh, you know what? I I hate to see it, but I don't fancy the Avangard chances here because they, they just I don't know. Like, they, fire they, fire wise, they, they, they're like. They, they stand no chance. I mean, look yeah, at that. Like, wow. it's just already, like, the Pershing is out. Wow. There you go. It's just like, I, yeah, I I hate to say it, but it's just the wrong tank pick once again. Yeah. The wrong tank pick. It's yeah. just they're letting their opponents, like, bully their way through. Honestly, I, I think I would have traded. But the thing is, you know, I, they weren't completely kind of expecting that this kind of specific tank line of coming out from IF. So I think, you know... Yeah, but they, they should have adapted to that. Uh, you know, the, once again, the 1390 is at, at this point... Or, okay, if you're going to roll out with the 1390, then at least just, yeah, instead of Pershing, add a T32. At the very least. Yeah, maybe. I uh, yeah, And keep your tanks together. I mean, like, I uh, it's sort it's of... Just, it's just, honestly, I think this one is just more about positioning. It is uh, positioning, and but just kind yeah. of the way Avangard are dealing with the situation. You know, they sent in that Pershing uh, and Riven uh. there. Uh, you know, way it went way too early. The two AM50s were out there to the east, uh, and their other tank, that AM13, was just kind of roaming around. And they went in two v five essentially, and, and because of that, they just well, really I mean, it, it is a way. it is a loss. It is yeah, a loss. Yeah. I mean, they can't come back from this now. They lost both the T32 and the Pershing, so basically, they got no protection whatsoever for the 50s 100 now. Miraculously, like no, <laughs> no man, and, and the the KV5 is still unscathed. That's 1,700 hit points. Look at that. He's he's gonna one v one bongo bongo here. Oh, okay. and, and like yeah, what can you do? It's just uh, with a with an AMX50. What can you do? Look at that. He's taking shot after shot here. Well, he's gonna take out the T1 there just to delay like base cap. He does manage to do so. So yeah, but to still, uh, I mean, is it gonna change anything? <laughs> The KV-5 doesn't even have to hunt for him. All you gotta yeah. do is just sit on that bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep on the capture and just, yeah, you know what, like, have fun. Try to try to take care of 1,700 hit points. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, well, congratulations to the Inspire.